What's up tool and gear fans? Today I want to talk about one of the most useful tools you can add to your toolbox. The pry bar. This here is my collection of pry bars. I collected these over a number of years during my heavy equipment diesel truck mechanic career. I've had some of these pry bars for almost 20 years now. And this is a testament to how well built these tools are. Now every single one of these has a story. I had a particular job I had to do, so I went and bought the pry bar. And you could look at these as being as several sets. One set being the snap-on pry bars here. Here we have a 24 inch pry bar, an 18 inch, and a 12 inch. These came together. Snap-on makes pretty good tools. This set here, which I would traditionally have referred to as crowbars, these were my grandpa's, making them a very special addition to my collection. I haven't traditionally used these a lot, these kind of cane-shaped pry bars. Like I said, I call these crowbars, but these are probably the most known to people outside of maintenance careers because I mean they've been you know in cartoons popular culture people jimmy and open doors and crates but I don't use those very much but again they were my grandpa so I'm glad to have them this here people call these a pry bar I was actually taught to call these a wedge bar I actually don't use this part the hook part of this very much but the pointy part is very useful when you have to align a bolt hole and a heavy piece of equipment or a truck. For example, when I've had to mate up a transmission to the back end of a motor, just aligning the bolt holes so you can get another bolt started, really super useful for that in this pointy end. That is a very strong tool as well. It doesn't flex much. Now this little guy here, this little Stanley flat bar, you can see this one looks the newest out of the bunch. I actually bought this to go in a go kit, uh, a mo bag, a bug out bag, just to have something to apply leverage in an emergency situation. And that brings me to a good, good point here that a pry bar is a great SHTF tool because they're perfect for getting yourselves out of situations. You got to jimmy a door open, or a window, or just manipulate something out of the way. Pry bars are great for applying leverage. And I don't have weak arm, but a little bit of leverage goes a long way. Now I want to talk about probably the most used out of all my pry bars, the Mac 42 inch pry bar that you see up here on top. It's made out of, oh, I think that's three quarter inch stock. And the significance of the Mac pry bar is it's got a capped end. Now you can see this has been well used. This is not an example of me buying something new and trying to do a review of it. I've been using these for about 20 years. Now what I've used this most for is big old heavy tires. I actually bought this when I went to work for a Freightliner dealership and had to manipulate the big old dump truck tires back onto dump trucks. When I worked as a school bus mechanic, school bus tires. Also that capped in several times I've used it with a BFH. You know what a BFH is? A big freaking hammer that you hit that capped in to jimmy something free. I got a few stories about how that pry bar got me out of a jam, but I'll reserve that for another video. Again, if you're looking for an excellent all-purpose tool that can help you in a multitude of situations, I recommend you look into getting some pry bars. Now, don't go super cheap on this. A good quality pry bar will last you the rest of your life. 
You could probably see there's a little bit of surface corrosion on these. I probably could have done a little bit better maintaining these over the years, but the truth is there's been several situations where they've gone through a period of non-use. In my career of over 20 years and moving several times throughout the United States, sometimes they found themselves in not the most optimal storage conditions. But overall, whatever rust or corrosion you see is mostly cosmetic. These are overall still in great shape. And I'm going to clean them up a little bit more and make sure they last the rest of my life. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, take it easy.